Okay, again, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be a link in the description of the video. And what we're going to do today is we're going to continue what we're working with, uh, which is a program called Minimodem, which we are, are using to transmit data. And our main goal of our project is to transmit text. But can you send binary files such as an image using this technique? And yes, there is a way you can do that, at least uh, a way I came up with. There might be other ways as well. Um, but you may be familiar with Base64. Base64 is a way of encoding files that can take binary files, any file you have, and convert it to plain text, and then it can convert it back again. This is very common if you ever look at the attachments of an email, they're probably in Base64. You can also embed Base64 images and sound files into a web page. Web browsers decode Base64 for you. Uh, but on our shell here, I'm using uh, Debian Linux, we have a program called Base64 which does this for us, uh, which I also believe is part of BusyBox. So you can get this running on pretty much any Linux device, whether it be a router or a modem or your phone. Um, but basically all I have to do is I have an image in here, if I list out my files, called img.jpg. And if I say base64 and give it that file name, what it's going to do is going to generate a bunch of text for us, which represent that file. It's in encoding that file as text. And so what we can do is we can take that and pipe it into Minimodem and say to transmit it. And again, we're going to go at a high speed here of 1200-F uh, for a file. And we can create a WAV file that we will call uh, image.wav or img.wav. I'll go ahead and hit enter and we're going to generate that. In our last code, uh, we had a small file because we had uh, 30 lines of text. Well, we have quite a bit more now. It's a very low resolution image. Um, but if I list out my files now, you can see that our image wave is 26 megabytes, where the actual image is 25 kilobytes. So a lot of text converted into tones, takes up a lot of space. Uh, it would take a very long time to, to transmit this. Again, uh, at 1200, uh, a rate of 1200, it's probably too fast for you to reliably send it over um, radio waves. And, um, and if you miss one character in a case like this, it's, 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 it's not going to decode properly. You need every single character properly transmitted. But to have a WAV file like this, you can then send it to somebody. And it's, it's, uh, it's not a secure way to do stuff. It's not like it's encrypting it. It's just encoding it so anyone can decode it. But you could have fun sending files back and forth to people uh, like this. So now we have a WAV file. I can play out, uh, not MSG, that was from last video, IMG WAV. And I'll kill that there. Four minutes, almost five minutes to send a very low resolution image that's like 340 pixels by 220 or something like that. So um, again, not very practical, but it can be done. And this could come in useful for you uh, under certain circumstances. Um, but there you go. You have it converted. So how do you convert it back? Well, again, we'll use Minimodem. And this time we'll say that we're receiving at 1200. And we're going to give it the file of uh, MSG. If we hit enter right away, oh, not MSG, sorry. That's, again, the last video, img.wave. It's going to give us the base64 output. So all you have to do is take that output and pipe it into base64. So we'll say base64. And we're going to say dash D for decode. And if we hit enter now, it's going to give us the binary image output. So of course, we want to put that into a file. So what we're going to do is pipe that into a file. We'll call it img.jpg. And we will go ahead and actually, we'll just call it image.jpg, even though the other one's capital. Anyway, I don't want two files named the same, even if the, they're different. So uh, now I can list out. And you can see here, this is our original. This is our after encoding and decoding it, you can see it's the same file size. I can say file uh, and that name, and it will tell me that it's a JPEG file. So it decoded it properly. And right here, it's a, it's a 340 by 227 image. So not very big at all. I'm not going to show you the image. If you want to see that image, you can go to the GitHub page. There's a link in the description to this project. And I am going to remove the images from the project now but I'll leave the WAV file. So you can pull down that WAV file and decode it if you want to see what the picture is. 
And I do thank you for watching. As always, please visit my webpage, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos, as well as go to a support section where you can support me through either Patreon or PayPal. And truly, if you like my videos, be sure to subscribe, but like and comment, and please share them. The more views I get, the better. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.